Well, good evening, Atlanta ISB. Like so many of us, ISB has persevered through the pandemic and has come out stronger and in many ways more connected. There is no better proof that ISB has continued to build connections and friendships for its 20 years than this amazing, overwhelming crowd that is here this evening. Now tonight, along with celebrating ISB's 20th anniversary, we are celebrating a remarkable group of influential Georgia Muslims. We speak in many languages. We call God by many names. We worship in so many different spaces. We live in a world of uncertainty. It's trying to pull us to live in fear. So my prayer is that we will choose to respond by acting with faith, with love, with hope. And on behalf of the 61st mayor of the city of Atlanta, Andre Dickens, I bring welcome uh, from his office and his heart in his attempts to uh, draw circles uh, in this multi-ethnic, multi-race, multi-faith community. Bismillah rahman rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. With God's name, merciful benefactor, merciful redeemer, all praise and thanks belongs to God. It is my deep honor to be associated with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. For 20 years, the ISB has been extending its reach, ensuring the Muslim community's voice is heard and our stories told. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello ATL. Peace and shaloms to all of you. It is so wonderful to be here with you today. I have to tell you, it's, it's been, a, it's been a, a ride, 20 years, and that's a long time, but we are so grateful and so thankful uh, to all of you for your belief in us, for you standing behind us, for you supporting us, some of you have been supporting us from day one, and that is really tremendous. Thank you. Your commitment to the ISB shows our emerging leaders, our speakers, and our organizational partners that you recognize ISB's value and the important role that the ISB plays as leaders of the Muslim community. Now, we are for here at the moment that we have all been waiting for the influential Georgia Muslims. As a member of ISB's advisory committee, I have had the honor, and I will tell you it is the most humbling experience I have ever had, to participate in the selection process. These five individuals have devoted themselves to serving the community, both in their personal and professional lives. Each has stepped up into leadership roles, not because they seek the attention, but because they see a job that needs to be done, a person that needs help, or a community challenge that needs to be addressed. While incredibly diverse in their fields and expertise, the five people I am about to introduce to you all have found ways to reach beyond the traditional scope of their work and embrace community service in a myriad of ways. In their classrooms and in the community, these educators nurture the potential they see in their students, cultivate exploration and growth, and model respectful learning from everyone. I have been fortunate to meet many of the state's most innovative and enterprising technology leaders. The women and men that I'm about to introduce really represent and rank amongst the finest. They all honor their backgrounds in communities, 
by finding ways to take care of others, by using their influence to create systemic change and to make the lives of individuals and families better. Each is a remarkably creative leader who, along with their business and professional achievements, have devoted themselves to serving others. They take their leadership lessons from their corporate environments and apply them to their community service effort. Through the law and politics and media, the influentials that we are going to celebrate today are helping people to tell their stories. They're finding resolution to conflicts. And we're all, through their work, together learning the deeper meaning of the world around us. But what they all have in common as the other honorees tonight is a commitment to provide the best possible care to pass on their knowledge and to serve their community. What a wonderful evening this has been. This is the largest gala in all of ISB's 20 years. Everyone, please join me with one more thunderous round of applause as we congratulate our influentials who have been honored this evening.